Why did people jump from the Twin Towers if they had a chance of surviving? First, the poor souls who jumped were almost all at their windows for a while. Most likely, the pain from the high heat forced them there and then, finally, out the windows when they realized they had to take their chances. Second, I do not believe that when they made their exit they were giving up hope. It had been some time since the planes hit and they surely knew responders and fire trucks were on the scene. The ones who jumped knew that everyone was aware they were stuck at the windows. If it were me, despite my overall intelligence, the fact that I was unable to breathe or being burned would have made me consider jumping in the hope that the experts out there had figured out how to make some kind of high-tech safety net by now and maybe all the people below had things staggered, so maybe nets were placed at different stories. It's not like they could look down and see the lower heights of what they were jumping towards. I certainly wouldn't have stayed to die. It's easy for us to dismiss this, saying everyone knows a safety net can't be used from that height or to project our knowledge onto the ones in distress making a decision. But we should not assume what they were thinking or assume they were giving up hope. In fact, we are hardwired to never give up hope, no matter what. Personally, if I were in that window and needed to do something because I couldn't breath or was being burned, some hope type things would have flashed in my mind. I might have vaguely recalled a stunt with someone landing into a net after jumping from a plane or some high-tech stuff would have flashed into my mind, yes, I would have had hope that in a place like New York in the 2000s, I would have just tried to jump out enough so I didn't hit the building on the way down to whatever attempted catching method was in place. So, I believe those who jumped were not necessarily thinking, okay, I know I will die, but I choose this mode of death. Oh and by the way, because I believe the folks who jumped had hope, those last 100 feet come quickly and they likely still had hope at the moment of impact. I remember one time when I was parachuting in my younger years, there was a reckless instructor in Louisiana. So this instructor was very stubborn, and later I learned, a drug user, and when he was about 300 feet above us, he was messing with his main chute trying to get it untangled. We yelled for him to use the reserve instead and I swear he was under 200 feet when he finally gave in, cut the main chute free and pulled the reserve. This guy was hoping to still fix his main chute when he was so close to the ground that we could actually see his snarling expression. Yes, he hit the ground hard but was fine. If you want to see more 9-11 history content like this, follow to stay tuned for more and check my previous videos.